Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to Angus Stationery Part 3. And we just created a letterhead in InDesign by placing in our EPS file that we made and made sure that it had our spot color red 185 and our black. And if we're not sure, you could always check your swatches in InDesign. And when you bring in an image that has a spot color, it'll always show up in your in your swatches as long as you placed it correctly and it will use a black 100% K black it won't use a rich black which means that there would be CMY mixes in it so it's, it is using this black so then when I use text I can be sh I can be sure that it's going to be 100% black when I use that so it's using these two colors in here and that's what I want and I can also print separations from here but what I'm going to do next is actually make a envelope and my envelope and what I'm going to do is, since I already did some work here even the even the uh, the link but maybe I'll just copy this I'll just copy this you can do a control C and copy that text box and I'm gonna go file new and the only thing you need to know for an envelope is the size and if you go to page size you may see an envelope here you may not um, but an envelope number 10 business envelope is actually nine and a half wide and if you have one around at home just measure it and four and an eighth which is four point one two five and it's landscape view so I want to make sure that it's nine and a half wide and four high and also what I want to change for my margins is I'm gonna change my margins to be um, like a quarter of an inch all around I'm gonna make them a quarter inch all around except for the left side now I don't see a left here why is that because I want to uncheck facing pages so that it it's just one single um, if you have facing pages, it mirrors them and it just uses an inside and outside. But I want to, this way, I want to have a left. The left side, I just want to increase a little bit. Actually, and I need to unlock this. And I just want to increase the left to 0.3125. Sometimes you could go as much as uh, 0.3753 ace, but 516 should be enough. And, and the reason I'm having you do this is when I worked at a printer, we always had to have the image side of an envelope. Um, have at least um, 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths of an inch gripper margin, meaning some area without image on it. And I assume that's probably still a, a good rule to follow. So 5 sixteenths should be fine. So 9.5 by 4 and an eighth. I'll hit OK. And there's my envelope. And I'm just going to paste and bring this in here. Now that's too big right now and it's too long because remember, we just want a little return address over here, so I'll have to change this. And that little red thing means it's it's not fitting, so I'll fix that. I also want to place in my logo, so I'm going to make sure nothing else is selected with my arrow tool, and I'll do File Place, and I'll bring in the same EPS logo. I could have copied it from the other one, but sometimes you get like link issues when you copy and paste, so it's always best to kind of place it in. And I'm going to scale it, and I'll use the method, um, whatever method, maybe I'll just use the method where I make this thing real big and that way I'll just work on this thing on the inside if you click on this circle it'll select that image I'll bring it over here because that's where it's gonna be and then if you wanna scale it down you could just um, click this upper right corner and then I'm just gonna go down and the other one was 86 so this is probably gonna be smaller so I'm gonna take this down maybe you know it's an envelope so this is gonna be real tiny you know it's going down to 62 It doesn't have to be super tiny I'll make it like 65 percent do what I said, object fitting, fit frame to content. And what I'm going to try to do down here is center this type under here. I don't know how this will work out, but I'll zoom into this so I see it a little better. I'd almost like to kind of center this on two lines. Now, obviously at 12 point, it's probably too big, but if I make all this text, um, I could probably even go down as low as 8 point is probably fine for an envelope. Remember, it's just a return address. I don't need bullets in here. So I'm going to replace those bullets with returns. You know, just backspace the bullet and return. I don't need the phone number. You, you could leave the website in here. It's a little extra advertisement on here unless it messes up our size. And I'm going to try to just make this text box as wide as the logo. And it may not quite make it. And it's almost it's because of the, uh, the website that it's not kind of making it. So I might just stretch it out just a little bit to see if I can fit the comp. Or... What I may do is just take all my text there. It's a little wider. I might take all my text down to like 7.5. So I'm just going to type in 7.5 because you won't have that as an option. I'll make that 7.5. And I'll bring the box in as, as small as I can. And I think I'll just move the logo over slightly just to center over that. 
that's fine if I cheat just a little bit and if I hit on preview that looks pretty nice I could see my I have my website address there and I have my my two um, my two line address and that's all I really need for a return address I'll put this in display performance high quality so it looks nice and I'll zoom out a little bit now if you want to print this out and when we do this in the classroom what we typically do so you could print it out to see what it looks like and we do this with business card too is to actually um, just make a box and I usually make sure it's like a 0.5 usually one point one point is usually too much so I make it like 0.5 and I just draw a box around the entire outside of the page not at the margins or anything but the outside of the page so that if you print it out you could print it out centered on your document and it'll have an outline otherwise this will just be floating on a piece of paper so if you wanted to print this out um, if, I, if I go to print and I'm not sure what printer I'll go to you know even a black and white printer here if I want to print out to a black and white printer um, you could see it when I look down here it's printing out in the upper corner now you could change that by going to setup and down at the bottom if you go page position centered it'll put it in the middle that way it'll print it out and it'll have a border around it so that you could see where the edge of the envelope is you're, you're gonna want to do the same thing with your business card too but I'm just gonna cancel that because I'm not gonna print it but I did make sure that I put that on so I'm just gonna save this and when you save this I'll, I'll save it inside my stationary folder I'll call it this is called Angus LH you could call it either number 10 because it's a number 10 envelope or you could just call it ENV for envelope which is fine you could do that too or you could put it you could put a number 10 in here that works fine as well and that's all you really need you need your last name and looks like I didn't have a capital H in that one I guess I'll just keep it consistent and I'll hit save and that's all you need now we have our letterhead we have an envelope the last thing we're gonna do is our business card